AP Bass in here fishing with a uh, legend in the flush. That's a really good setup you have there, dude. Are you professionally? Actually, if you guys want, I'll give you guys my phone number in the description if you want to hire me. I cost okay. I'm, I'm $600 really cool. an hour. <laughs> First fish of the day, or second fish of the day, sorry, <laughs> on that curl tail. Curl tail grub. All right, let's get a weight on it. Look at that cold fish, man. I'm so cold. It's so much cold. It was like it was like 60 degrees yesterday morning. It's 38 right now. Man, they did not want to. So what's the pattern today for AP Bassin? How are you looking to pull the wind today? Um, look at that. Just flipping and flipping reeds all day. <laughs> that reed pile right there. Oh, I got you. He's talking about his bow story about how he, he ordered a left-handed bow even though he's righty. Boom. Yeah, that's not really a boom. I just caught that one on that uh, beaver right there. Just a no-name beaver. Throwing a little unpacked weight. The the bait, the fish think the bait is following the weight down. And then the fish just automatically eat it. You know, I actually learned that on YouTube by a guy named of Andrew Flair. What? Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Never heard it's of too him. cold. You gotta help me. <laughs> All right, getting the official weight. Scale's right there, dude. I love how the scale says hello. One point six seven. Let me see. Six three. Six three. One point six three. All right, hold it up. I'm gonna get a picture. Wait, should I take my hat off? I feel like I look like it. Do I look like Pinocchio? <laughs> yeah, but you look like it without the hat too. Oh, okay. It's been kind of warm lately here in uh, Illinois, and I think even though it's been the air temp's been kind of heating up, the water temp's kind of stayed similar to the same, even in these smaller ponds. And uh, the water temp right now is probably in like 45 degrees. It's just super cold. And one lure I like to throw this time of year when I'm fishing this really cold stuff is just a simple curl tail grub. The uh, fluorescent head on there, I don't know if it helps or not, but it's just the one I had in there. This is um, Northland Tackle, and I really like this color, and uh, it's a Fat Albert. Uh, zoom curl tail. And it's just an awesome little presentation. I'm throwing this on the Cousins seven foot light action spinning rod. Then I'm throwing this with a Shimano Stratic CI4. This is the newest generation, so it's really balmy out here, man. Ooh. Oh no, Peric's got another one. Thank God it's a dink. This one's a little healthier. Yeah. You well, just rolled around in some grass, why don't you? You know, a lot of people like to use lizards during the summer. I like to use them in the fall, just to have a lot of subtle action. I'm throwing that just with a uh, little Gamagatsu hook and punks and white. What's the rod you're using? Using the Cousins rod here? I actually like this rod. 7.6. 7.6, nice rod. Beef stick. Okay, you know, the, where's the scale at? Over there. Yep. Boom bear rod. Mine's not that big. Okay. Pretty fish today. One, three, six for me. One, six. What was yours? One, three, six. All right, I'm gonna move down to my trusty spot. The water's real high, so I think maybe they're gonna be over here. Yeah, smoky. This, this is that. This is it, man. You're done for. For me, Peric, back to back. This corner's loaded. Can you just put that back? It was little. Okay. I want to get back in there. Jeez. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is I'm using like a flipping rod and a big lizard. And I'm catching bigger fish. You fishing some little fairy stick over there. <laughs> I feel like it's like suspending. Oh my god. No, it's my tungsten. Berg just lost a giant, so we're gonna leave right now. 
He was complaining about all the big fish I was losing, yet he breaks off on a fish. It's not my fault. No, it's not his fault. We're gonna well, go to. Thing a, is that would have been broken. That was like a six pounder. Yeah, that was like two. But we're gonna go to this new spot that's like kind of a stone quarry pond. It's really good. So I'll probably kick your butt like I always do. Okay. You probably what? Huh? All right. Catch you guys in the new spot. Wait, can I do the thing? Do what thing? Is that how you do it? Or you're like, all right, we'll catch you guys next time. No, I go like that. Oh, what's that? Catch you guys next time. <laughs> Okay, that was sick. All right, I just caught this one off camera at this new location right now. 1.27. Out of the stone quarry pond, throw it. That was on the grub. Nice one. Okay, new spot. Going to the, go to the next spot. Hey man, are you gonna pick that up for me? Do you get my tripod at least, dude? Hey, you're so cl you're a lot closer than I am. Yes. Give if you don't drop any of it. Thank you. So that, that's, a, that's called a trick darter. It's just a darter. It's the X80 trick darter by Mega Bass. It's like a really good alternative to fishing the Vision 110, which everyone freaking throws. Got this for fishing smallmouth lake, or smallmouth in the bigger lakes of Wisconsin. Works good in these little ponds too. 1.71. Chunker. I'm on the, I'm on the board now. Who's what? All right, you're owing me a new one. So whatever you owe me for the sweatshirts, just add twenty-four dollars onto it. No, don't even blame it on the jerk bait, dude. You were destroying that thing. Explain what, what I had been talking about earlier, and then talk about what happened. So he buys these knockoff mega basses. No, that is a Vision One Ten straight out of Lee's Global Tackle. Anyways, you freaking gumbo. Yeah. So what happened? Okay. Usually you could take a lure and go like this. Like you know, like. Yeah, but do it at the speed you were doing it. I was like. Constantly, like repetitively. Oh, not so you. Now I was gonna say the hook, but that's gone now too. So yeah, that was actually a decent hook. Is that it right there? Okay. So okay, anyway. what's the lesson that you learned? First of all, I've learned my lesson. Don't ever let Peric use your stuff. Well, I gotta use your st stuff for a whole nother month. So head into the new spot right now. Peric's gonna. Peric's gonna like my. Careful. Yeah, please don't do that. All right, hold on. I got my wallet. Where is? What did you do with my wallet? Do you have my wallet? No. Seriously, give it to me. Shut up. Is it in your car? No. What Who's you is this? Is this yours? No. Oh, what? what the hell? <laughs> Why do you have a pocket? No, that's mine. Good news. Found it. This is in the glove box. All right, we're taking a break right now, eating some meatheads. What order number are you? 32. Does that stand for your height? Three foot two? videos are not even fishing anymore, they're more like... Like, take your channel for example. Look at all the really good fishing videos you've put up. Yeah. Ah, thanks. <laughs> we're going back to the same spot right now. No, we're not. Naza's, dude, is Naza's is the opposite direction. It's like going back to where I live. Okay, I'm following you, we're going to Sarah's, if we don't catch anything. Don't go that. I want to punch the camera. We'll see you at Sarah's. <laughs> Why are you freaking ripping them like that? <laughs> See, that's how you set the hook. This spot should be loaded. Fucking. There's a nice one. No. Yes. Dude, he ate that. Just not fooding. Wow. I could write an essay on that fish. Look how he ate that grub. Choked it. This fishing right now is. How would you describe it? One word. Appropriate word. Is that not appropriate? Fishing right now is not so good. Man, 
these fish are really tiny. Usually we catch like two pounders out of here. Still pretty healthy though. The smaller ones seem to be a lot more healthy on that little grub. Day's kind of coming to an end here. It's almost three o'clock. So we're gonna have to get off the water soon. But nice little winter largemouth. There's one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Are you kidding me? Is that another one? Yes. They're stacked in this spot. Oh, there's one. There's one. Like these little grubs are super, super subtle, and they just get get bit when some some other larger presentations don't. And yeah, nothing huge. Again, we're fishing a pond, so you can apply this to big lakes, but I'm not really making a a real good point of this. I'm gonna move down now, see if I can find some a little bit deeper water without as much grass. find that right cranking speed is where you can keep that bait, whatever you may be throwing, right above that grass. And that goes for any kind of technique. You know, it may seem kind of stupid, you know, catching tiny fish, whatever, but eventually you keep throwing this, you're gonna run across some quality fish. It's just one of those wintertime techniques that works really good along with like the Ned rig. Wrapping up the day right now, Perrick wants me to record him. Hey guys, end of the day here. I had a fun day. With you're gonna do my outro. Hey guys, end of the day here. Uh, pretty much these are the two rods that uh, me and John kind of focus on. This is a Cousin 7.6 Heavy. I was throwing that little finesse jig with a speed craw and with a pack of craw. Caught some That's not a pack of craw. What? You said a speed craw with a pack of craw? No, I said a speed craw and a pack of craw. What's a pack of craw? The craw that I lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thanks for ruining that. And then John caught pretty much all of his fish, I think, on this little grub uh, with yeah. that uh, what is that, Revenge Jig Head? No, that's a Northland Tackle. Northland Tackle Jig Head. Done that also on a Cousins Rod, 7 6 light. 7, seven foot, foot light. light. 7 yeah. 6 foot Heavy, stick, yeah. 7 foot light spinning. Complete light. opposites, pretty much. Complete, aw complete opposites. Probably gonna go eat some hot, drink some hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Warm up. See you guys next time. <laughs>